the gallbladder attack is when you have pain and the pain goes away and then you don't have a problem for weeks until you eat something greasy again. Acute cholecystitis is when you have pain and the pain doesn't go away and your gallbladder is now inflamed and the stone is stuck at the exit and that then becomes a complicated or um, almost emergent situation for the patient. Getting the right person to the right place at the right time is kind of the question. And if we had a test at the time in the emergency room where we could say, this person clearly has acute cholecystitis, this person doesn't, it would be easy. But none of the tests we have for this tell us that. They're all showing us a little bit more, a little bit less, but none of them is very good. So there's a big gray zone. So the people in the gray zone, what do we do with them? We found out that if you come to the emergency room with a gallbladder attack and you're young and otherwise healthy but had a lot of pain and you stayed a very short time, even too short for them to draw labs and you know, maybe it went away by itself um, or you thought it was going away or you got a little pain medication and you went home, your likelihood of bouncing back within seven days and needing an urgent gallbladder operation now because now it was really bad was higher than if you were middle-aged and had no other medical problems. If you were really old and had other medical problems, um, so you were, had heart and, and kidney and lung problems, your likelihood of bouncing back within seven days also was higher again. So it's the extremes of age that had more trouble being successfully treated with going home. I think one of the things that's important is um, increasing awareness, understanding that there are some young healthy people who may not be helped by being sent home, and that there's elderly people with more diseases um, who may not be helped by sending, being sent home. I think our next step is to develop a really predictive model. So saying, okay, here's the patient with, you have these and these and these diseases. If we can check that off when you're registering at the ER entrance, we know you're somebody who's likely to fail. Maybe we will put you in the Let's admit you directly. Making sure the pain is well controlled is very important. Because if you still have a lot of pain, but you think now you understand what you have and you understand you don't have a heart attack and you have things that you need to take care of or you just, you know, it takes so long to be in the emergency room, um, being aware that if that happens, you may be back with the same situation again in the emergency room and it's not taken care of until you can electively choose with your physician when you want to have a surgery. That is important to know, I think, for some people. Gallbladder disease is very frequent, one of the most expensive diseases for the nation as a whole. If we can get that right the first time, I think we can um, make things better for a lot of people.